Hi lovelies. So, uh, I can't put off this video any longer. It's something that I really think needs to be talked about as much as possible and that I want to talk about because it's something I'm personally going through. It's really, really hard to talk about. Um, my best friend has let me know that I am it is okay for me to talk about his experience and what he's going through and I so appreciate him for that um, I don't think he knows how many people I might help um, but I went to the doctors today to just make sure it was okay that it was something that I could talk about um, anyways, so I, when I got out of college, I got into counseling and I have had mental illness for as long as I can remember the joys of mental illness. So I consider myself somewhat of an expert. Um, but when it affects the people that are closest to you, I think a lot of times we're very blind to it. And, um, I think a lot of it is denial, um, being fearful is a huge part for me, um, but anyways, I, um, my best friend from 7th grade, um, so many, many decades of friendship, um, one of my most dearly loved people on this earth was hospitalized for a second time um, and he's spoken to me about wanting to hurt himself and to not be here anymore and it just breaks my heart because he is just one of the kindest people and maybe that's his weakness it is truly one of the kindest people I have ever met in my entire life. And he wants to take that away from people. He thinks that it doesn't matter. That it doesn't matter if he's on this earth. He's had a difficult life in some respects. Um, in other respects, he's had a very nice life, so I don't think you can, um, kind of like stereotype him. Um, he's had trauma in his life, uh, trauma that I can't even imagine, um, just over, I guess maybe it's been close to two years. It just seems like it just recently happened, but for me, it seems like it was just over a year ago, his, um, dad died so and his mom has pretty serious health issues um, and he lives in the middle of Pennsylvania and I live in North Carolina and can't travel but you know you can't beat yourself up you just got to be where you are and um, just try to be with that person the best way that you can and try to be there for that person he asks me to pray for him so a lot of my time is spent praying for him and talking to him about what he's thinking but um he's going through bouts of see this is where i put my fears in it but he's going through bouts of psychosis and um, delusions and he is just at the perfect time for schizophrenia and it just scares the crap out of me. He's, he's just the perfect age range. I people think it's old people or older people and it's not, it's, it's young people.
So anyways, either you, if you know a lot about these things or if you don't know a lot about these things, it's just as equally as scary when someone you love comes to you and says that their life doesn't matter. At the same time, I can understand that. Being a person that didn't think that my, my life mattered for almost a decade, maybe longer. As a person that has had to go to the hospital because of thoughts of suicide, as a person that has suicidal ideation, as one of my coping mechanisms with life, um, I can understand it when people in my life or near me or friends or family members of people I know have committed suicide and never once was like, I don't get it. I don't get it. How could anyone do that? I do think it's the most single, most selfish act you can do to some in this world. But I can see where a person can be at that place. Where you can convince yourself that people hate you, that you don't, that they don't want you to be here. What's, why am I just even sucking up this oxygen? Or I want to be with God. But I promise you all something. That no matter how much you don't think you matter, you do. So much. So unbelievably much. Like, I still don't know what I do on this earth. I don't know what value I bring to it. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't, like, have the career and f white picket fence and the, like, two and a half kids and perfect relationship. Like, I don't have all those things that make me, like, valuable. But I know that I'm supposed to be here. That it's not my time. And when it is, God will take me. But... I do know that, I do at this point in, my, point in my life, do know that some people value me, care about me. It's still an unusual thing for me to understand. Um, but when he talks to me the way he does, my best friend, it breaks my heart. And I can only say to him what kept me on this earth and is that, you cannot leave because I will never be the same. And that's the complete honest truth. It's one of those things where like, sometimes you undervalue the people you, that mean to you most, that mean the most to you. And like him and my other best friend who I've been friends with longest in my life, are just two of the most important people in my life and like I don't know if I tell them enough but I do know that they reach out to me when they're in distress and same with me and I know that they'll always be there for me that calms me down a lot I don't know if they know that but I don't know it's just so important to tell people how you really feel when you're feeling it because positive things like if it's not positive then just can it but the positive things like I love you I value you you mean the world to me like tell them when you're feeling it or thinking it like don't put it off because you never know like what changes a person's life of course I'm not saying like because I tell my best friend I love him that now miraculously he doesn't have thoughts but in some situations I'm sure that happens in this situation I don't seem to be cutting it because this is the second time this has happened so this is his own path that I can just only pray for him and just beg God to help him this is the kind of person that he is he messaged me the other day and he said Emily if you can't make it here for a funeral for my funeral don't feel guilty about it don't feel bad 
Who says that? Who thinks that way? Who thinks my friend is disabled and in pain and she can't really travel and that's why we haven't really seen each other. So I don't want her to worry if I die that she has to make the trip here to come to honor me. Of course I said, why would you die tomorrow? <laughs> but um, he's just such an amazing person. And I just think if you have those people in your life, you think that they'll have it all together because they're this upbeat, positive person and you can always go to them for everything. And they're just such a sweet person and there's no way something like that could ever happen to them. I just feel like those are like the hardest ones to crack like because they'll just always be the hardest on themselves and like the most sensitive to most things I don't know I hope that sharing this gives anything to anyone and again thank you to my best friend for being able to share this and um, love one another tell one another you love you each other um, and appreciate them and don't beat yourself up okay that's if you're watching this tonight for the rest of the night don't beat yourself up and if you're watching this tomorrow morning for the rest of the day don't beat yourself up so for you, those of you that are early risers why would you get up that early and this is your punishment you cannot be hard on yourself for the rest of the day. You should have watched this right when I posted it. All right. I love you guys and appreciate you guys so much. Um, sorry, this is a... I'm not sorry, but that's just the word that you say. But this is a stark contrast from the giveaway. Uh, but that's what's been going on in my life and why I was having such a hard time putting a smile on my face. So continue to pray for my best friend. I am so appreciative of you who have sent me so many messages saying that you're praying for my best friend. It means more to me than you could ever understand. That is the absolute best, happiest thing that you could ever say to me is that you're praying for my friend or keeping them in your and keeping him in your thoughts. So it means the absolute world to me. So thank you so much, so much. And continue, please continue to pray for him and tell others to pray for him. As many prayers going up, it just means the world to me. So thank you so much. I hope you guys are having a pain-free, stress-free day. And hopefully you are because you're not going to punish yourself for the rest of the day. And I'm sending out X double O's. And as always, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.